हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ संजय मठ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग रिगार्डिंग द हाउ टू ड्रॉ द अर्थोपिक प्रोजेक्शन दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थोपिक प्रोजेक्शन ओके द लर्निंग आउटकम फॉर दिस टॉपिक इज स्टूडेंट विल एबल टू डिस्कस the basics of arthropic projections in arthropic projections here you have to uh, whatever the three dimensional view or object placed in front of you you have to convert it into two dimensions when you have to convert it into two dimensions you have to draw the front view top view and side view i am explaining later one secondly it is a form of a parallel projections in which all the projections lines are orthogonal to the projection plane the pioneer of this orthopic projection is gaspard monge now i'm showing this three dimensional uh, colored view colored so here you are observer and here is object hmm? and here is the screen a parallel vertical plane which is front of you which is parallel to your eye sight this vertical plane and in between vertical plane and the observer the object is placed in between them when the ray starts from your eye sight when it get collides with that object whatever the shadow you get it on that plane that is called as a view so here you get as a shadow on that vertical plane that on that projection of plane hmm? that is the plane of projections and this colored one that is the shadow this is called as a view imagine that suppose this plane is absent hmm? object is here and you are observer and the ray starts from your eye sight it get collides with that object you will not get that image so to get that image you have to take a imaginary plane a vertical plane same thing one more plane you have to take it this plane is parallel to your eye sight but one more plane you have to take it which is perpendicular to your eye sight that is called as a horizontal plane so that i will show you so this is a vertical plane just i am explaining hmm? which is parallel to your eye sight another plane is there that is called as a horizontal plane this is the parallel to the hrp parallel to the ground parallel to sorry uh, perpendicular to your eye sight so this is a vertical plane and this horizontal plane one more plane is there that is called as a side or a profile plane huh? when these planes are that is a vertical plane this one and this is a horizontal plane when they get collides with each other you get as a four quadrant that is the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant so when you have to draw the orthopic projections there are two angle of projections are there what is the two angle projections method the first one is a first angle projection method and another one is a third angle projections method what is the first angle projection method imagine that whatever the four quadrants you have get it when the intersection of the vertical plane and horizontal plane you get as a four quadrant in that four quadrant this is the first quadrant in that first quadrant imagine that the object is to be placed in that first quadrant whatever the shadow you get it that is on the vertical plane and horizontal plane that is called as a first angle projections method when what is the third angle projections method here i am showing the the four quadrant you need first angle first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant this object is to be placed in the third quadrant whatever the images you get it that is called as a third angle projections method now i am explaining the first angle projections method in the first angle projections method whatever the images you get it i am showing this colored one okay here is a front view so here is a observer when you have to see that object whatever the images you get it, that is a red color one and the bluish uh, dark blue color is to be there that is a front one that is called as a front view and now you have to here is observer you have to imagine that you have to rotate it through a 90 degree you have to see that object from the top view huh? from here from the top view you have to rotate it yourself through 90 degree and you have to see that object from the top view whatever the images you get it that i am showing below the reference line that is uh, there is uh, greenish one and this yellow uh, blue color one is to be there that is called as a top view and one more view i am showing here is observer then one more view i am showing here when you have to go to the right hand side view 
here is the observer i am seeing that object from the side view when you see that object whatever the planes are parallel to that is a yellow color one again the green color one so it is a side view here i am showing that in the first angle projections method here is a reference plane the front view is above the reference line and the top view is below the reference line and the side view whatever the side view i am showing here right side view i am drawing in the left hand side view. now you go for shift to the third angle projections method in the third angle projections method you have to assume that the object is placed in the third quadrant and this colored views i am showing here here the observer we need to see that observer from in this direction whatever the images you get it that i am showing in the front view but the basic difference between the first angle projections method and the third angle projections method is the first angle projection method object is placed in the third quadrant so that's why this front view i am showing above the reference line and top view below the reference line but here the third angle projections method the object is placed in the third quadrant so that's why front view is below the reference line and the top view is above the reference line so that is a basic difference between the first angle projections method and the third angle projections method now i am showing some lines here you have to draw it the visible lines which is the dark one hidden lines are there that is the rotated one center line one slot is to be there then these are arrows two ends that is the dimensions lines and construction there is a fair one these i am showing here you take example for this one in the direction of arrow I, this is object and you are observer here when you to see that object you get as a plane a rectangle as it is this rectangle as it is but these edges are there they are invisible from the front view so that's why you have to show the dotted line so this construction line you have to hidden lines are there on the same thing when you to same object here the observer and you see that object there are you get a three rectangle the first rectangle second rectangle and the third rectangle because these edges are visible for you so that is a basic difference between these two objects now i am taking a simple example for this one here i am drawing the reference lines and in the direction of arrow i am seeing that object is the front view we need to see the front view this uh, what do you call uh, blue color dark blue color plane as it is and the red color is as it is so it is a two planes so what about the uh, this brownish color you know clear think over that what about this plane the answer for this one needs to be when you have to see that object in the front view this plane this brownish color plane is perpendicular to your eyesight when the plane or a line is perpendicular to eyesight you get as a line edge view for this plane it is a edge view so now i am going for a rotating through a 90 degree and see that ob same object from the top view when you see from the object from the top view which planes are parallel this yellow color one is there and this brownish color one is to be there okay this yellow color and brownish color i am drawing then what about this red color think over that what about that plane where you, how you have to represent it just i am explaining previous one in the front view so what i am saying in the last uh, previous one when you have to draw the front view when any plane just like now this red color plane is to be there and when you have to see that object here let you see that object when the red color is to be there this plane is perpendicular to eyesight so the plane is act as a line or edge view that edge view i am showing here okay now i am going for the side view here is the observer i am going for the side view how to draw the side view draw the 45 degree line draw the respective generators vertical generators and horizontal generators and to 45 degree rotate it and when you have to see that object whatever the planes are parallel to you you have to draw it then what about the brownish color here again you have to think over that how you to draw it yes exactly in the previous one i am showing this brownish color as a edge view in the top view this red color plane as a edge view now again when i have to go for the side view this brownish color plane is a edge view okay so this is a simple orthopedic position so it is called as a front view it is called as a top view and it is a left hand side view for this i am taking the reference of nptel okay thank you